everyone! Welcome to my editing tutorial! In this episode... Your editing absolutely sucks! I mean, what the hell is this? Trash audio? Trash frame rate? Your mod does passport? <laughs> How the hell do you wanna become the next PewDiePie when your editing looks like PewDiePie's uncle? <laughs> It doesn't look good, man. But hey, don't worry. Today, I'm gonna show you one uh, editing hack to make your mother proud and become Swedish or something. I don't know. <laughs> effect number one. The Jojo effect. I like Yakat G. It's probably my most famous effect. Whenever I do this effect in my videos, I always see people rewinding to that part of the video. Do you see this? This little thing here. There's 50%. Oh, 53. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. As you can see, we have here CJ. Hello. And look, oh my God, there is Raida. Buster, straight buster. What? So what I want to do here, I want to punch Raider, but epically. Okay. But how do we do that? Open up Adobe Movie Maker. Make a new project. Name it something memorable. We click on the clip here. Right mouse button. And then replace with After Effects composition. You've got mail. Oh my god, Eminem. <laughs> and now, let's go into the effects. Go to this panel here. Effects and presets. Boom. And now you type in what your mother sees when she looks down my pants. Bulge. <laughs> okay. And then you take it. The bulgy bulgy. And put it on the clip here, okay. Boom. Ah, oh, there it is. Horizontal radius. <laughs> of course, man. The horizontal bulge radius, man. Now pay attention. We click on this stopwatch here. And we click on this stopwatch here, okay? And now we pull it down to zero, okay? And now we go a couple frames forward. And then increase it like this. And then increase it like this. Nice. And now go to bulge heights. Oh, yeah. And then we decrease that one. One. Oh my god. Okay, and when you see this uh, thing. What the fuck? Man, there was a there was an earthquake. What the fuck? I think your mother fell out of the bed. <laughs> but there are these black things here. It's not good. We want to get rid of them. So we click on pin all edges. And now it kinda decreases a little bit. But Redel, there are still black things here. Chill out. We're gonna make them disappear, increasing the taper radius. Oh, uh, oh, what's happening? Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Okay, let's see how this looks. Very nice, man. It looks good, doesn't it? Oh, yes, Redel, very good. Silence. Do you wanna be PewDiePie or do you wanna be Markiplier? That's not, it's not the same. <laughs> Let's make it even better. We go to our uh, uh, timeline thing here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is called. And we right click, go to new, and then adjustment layer. Oh my god. What is an adjustment layer? It's a layer where you put effects on, and everything below that layer is affected by that effect. Oh my god. So when we, for example, type in here red, and then we go to infrared, and then we put it on the adjustment layer. Oh my god. Everything thing is infrared color wow. now it's slowly coming together like me and your mother on a beautiful date okay but now we want to have a circle here we want it to, to start out as a circle and then grow bigger and then yeah that's it so we click on this one rectangle tool type q type q again type q again Bruh. Oh my god! The eclipse tool. And now we go into the middle of the screen. Click. Drag. Alt. Shift. And now we drag a perfectly circle-y circle. Like this. And now we press V for the selection tool. We go to the circle and grab it. And then we put it in the middle. And now we go to the adjustment layer and type S. Scale! Oh, decrease the scale back to zero. Oh my god, where's zero? Oh my god, just 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 type zero, man. <laughs> and now we click on the stopwatch. Scrub through the footage. Increase. Aha! And how does that look? 
damn! And now we go in the middle here at the peak of the animation. Click on the adjustment layer again. Uh, we click on T. Uh, opacity click on the stopwatch go to the ends of the animation and then decrease that to zero so that the infrared effect goes away again okay and this happens and that's it man we're done just kidding we need to add some camera shake click on the clip p for position hold alt button oh, and then you click on the stopwatch here ladies and gentlemen the matrix has opened and now we're gonna code oh my god you're typing what your mother's tits do when she's sprinting wiggle <laughs> and then open uh, whatever this is and you type in some random number let's say 500 comma 500 click let's play okay that's a bit too much shake this number here is responsible for how much it's shaking okay and this one how much it's affecting of the picture aha uh -huh. how do we increase the wiggle smoothly hmm <laughs> pay attention we go back to here right click new no, and then null object what is null object i have no idea man <laughs> i still have no idea what it does just add a null object please go to effects and presets again slider control boom and then we add it on top of our null object and then we add another one boom like this okay and then we go to our 500 here highlight it go to this little uh, uh spiral here click drag onto the first slider boom oh my god we hacked the matrix you click on the second 500 and you do the same but this time with the second slider aha and as you can see now nothing is happening how do we change it well by increasing the slider okay so now the numbers that we had down here below are now here basically and we can add stopwatch animations and then increase it gradually oh my god Randall, you're so clever how are you doing this i have no life oh, okay makes sense <laughs> <laughs> go to the beginning set everything to zero go to the middle set the first number to 50 and the second one to 100 and now we want it to stop at the end okay so we're gonna decrease it again to zero so now it should start out with a little vibration get bigger and then stop again how does it look oh my god we finally have done the effect man the goddamn jojo effect ladies and gentlemen <laughs> did you think <laughs> you're so cute <laughs> we need to add one more thing though to make everything look nice motion blur ladies and gentlemen <laughs> click on this little slinky here ah. go to our clip and then you click on this slinky here and now we should have some motion blur without slinky with slinky without slinky with slinky aha uh -huh. okay but that's a bit too much motion blur so we're gonna go to composition we're gonna go to composition compo <laughs> comp <laughs> composition settings advanced and then decrease the shutter angle to like 50 maybe aha uh -huh. do you see this now it's a bit more clear buster straight buster what but, ah! there it is okay that's it go away after effects how long did that take 40 minutes oh man that's that's nothing <laughs> nothing 40 minutes of editing for a two second effect okay very nice the things you do for three percent more audience retention <laughs> Redel, why do you take so long to make videos i don't understand man it always takes so long i mean if pewdiepie can release a 50 minute meme reaction on his channel barely edited why can't you release every day of 800 hour edited video i don't understand it Radel. people always ask me oh Radel, why do you have a neck uh, 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 sock because i'm carrying the youtube editing game on my back brother that's why okay oh it's because i'm fat <laughs>